The Outsiders by S. E. Hinton is a coming-of-age story about class rivalry between two teenage gangs. The novel tells of the violence that ensues between the greasers, who make up the lower-class gang, and the socks, their middle- and upper-class rivals. The boys suffer tragic consequences as they resort to violence. Still, their loyalty and kinship grow stronger. The novel is set in the early 1960s in a fictional city loosely based on the author's hometown of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Financially and socially disadvantaged, the Greaser gang members are referred to as hoods or juvenile delinquents. They include the following characters. Ponyboy Curtis is the 14-year-old narrator of the novel who loves reading books and watching movies. He lives with his older brothers, Soda Pop and Derry Curtis, as their parents have passed away in a car accident. Soda Pop is a happy-go-lucky 16-year-old, always grinning and getting high on life while abstaining from drinking alcohol. Derry is the oldest Curtis brother, a roofer who takes care of both Pony Boy and Soda Pop. Derry won an athletic scholarship, which he had to give up because his family could still not afford to send him to college. Johnny Cade is a nervous 16-year-old who comes from a violent home. His friends treat him like a kid brother. Dally is the toughest of the gang. He is a jockey who rides horses, which the narrator tells us is the only thing he does honestly. He is hardened by his fight for self-preservation. The others know they can count on Dally for help if they are in trouble. Two-Bit Matthews is a wisecracking shoplifter who carries a switchblade and enjoys both fighting and school. Steve Randall is Soda's best friend, whom Pony Boy dislikes. The rival gang, the Sox, are richer kids from the West Side. They include the following members, Bob Sheldon, a bitter enemy of the greasers who harasses them every chance he gets. Randy Adderson is Bob's best friend. Cherry is Bob's girlfriend, whom Pony Boy enjoys getting to know despite their class differences. One night at the drive-in theater, Pony Boy, Johnny, Two-Bit, and Dally meet Cherry and her friend Marcia. Pony Boy and Cherry enjoy watching the sunset together. It is a bond that crosses their social boundaries and links their worlds. On the walk home, Bob and Randy, the girls' sock boyfriends, accost the group and then take the girls home. Later that night, Pony Boy and Johnny accidentally fall asleep in their favorite vacant lot. Pony Boy runs home, but when Derry scolds and hits him for the first time, he goes back to find Johnny. Later, Pony Boy and Johnny are jumped by Bob, Randy, and other sock gang members. During the fight, Johnny stabs and kills Bob to stop him from drowning Pony Boy in a fountain. Panicked, Pony Boy and Johnny find Dally, who they know will help them. Dally gives them some money his jacket, and a gun, and tells them to get on a train to Wendricksville and hide out in a deserted church. Pony Boy and Johnny stay at the church for nearly a week, cutting their long, greaser hair to disguise themselves and eating bologna. Dally meets them and takes them for burgers. Johnny decides to turn himself in, but when the three return to the church, they find it is on fire. A school group had been having a picnic there, and some children are trapped inside. Johnny and Pony Boy heroically save them, although one of the panicked children bites Pony Boy on the hand. A burning piece of timber hits Johnny in the back after Pony Boy jumps from a church window to safety. Pony Boy and Dally go to the hospital, but because Pony Boy was wearing Derry's jacket, he has only suffered a few burns and bruises. Soda and Derry arrive to pick him up. There they learn that Dally has a burned arm from his attempt to pull Johnny through the church window. Worst of all, Johnny is in critical condition with a back injury and third-degree burns. The boys leave Dally and Johnny at the hospital to recover. 
The greasers have planned a rumble against the Sox. Ponyboy feels sick, but decides to go anyway. Dally escapes from the hospital to fight in the rumble, and the greasers win. Dally takes Ponyboy back to the hospital to visit Johnny, who is dying. Before he dies, Johnny tells Ponyboy, stay gold. He does not want him to lose his childlike innocence and become hardened like Dally. Dally, who loved Johnny especially, runs off, overcome with grief. Ponyboy feels even sicker, but goes home to tell the rest of the gang that Johnny is dead. Dally calls the Curtis house from a payphone to say that he has robbed a grocery store and the cops are chasing him. The whole gang runs to the vacant lot as Dally approaches from the other side, followed by cop cars. Dally pulls his gun on the cops and they shoot him, killing him. Ponyboy passes out from exhaustion. Later, Ponyboy wakes up in bed, delirious and sick from a head concussion. He is in denial about Johnny's death. Soon, he goes to court to testify about Bob's murder, telling them honestly that Johnny killed Bob. The judge goes easy on him. Ponyboy is allowed to continue living with dairy and soda rather than being sent to a boy's home. But things are not the same for him. His world is upside down, and his grades start to slip. Derry confronts Pony Boy about his grades, and they fight. Soda is upset by all the fighting and runs out of the house. Derry and Pony Boy find Soda. Soda tells his brothers he can't stand how they fight all the time, since they'll only survive if they stick together. All they have is each other. Derry and Pony Boy hadn't realized their fighting upset Soda so much, and they vow to get along and take care of each other. Pony Boy has to decide what to write about for his semester theme in English class, and he decides to write a story warning at-risk boys to turn their lives around. It's called The Outsiders. <laughs>